So if you want to know more about microneedling and see some results and stuff, then just stick around. Before we start the video guys, I gotta make this announcement. This is purely entertainment. It is not educational. I'm not a doctor. I'm not your doctor. You should see a physician by any kind of medical advice you want. You should see a professional. You shouldn't ask me. You shouldn't do what I do. This is just for entertainment. Don't do what I do. Let's continue. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about microneedling since a lot of you, you guys have been asking me about how I keep my hair and what I think about microneedling and how it's done. So first off guys, what is microneedling? So microneedling is also known as a procedure called derma rolling where you take a number of small needles to create incisions in the skin making the skin heal faster and create an inflammatory response. By making these small incisions in your skin, you will actually increase the growth factor in the area and also increase the inflammatory response to that area. So the way that this works is actually the same way as laser resurfacing of the skin works. Those of you who do not know how this works, it's by creating extreme heat and exposing it to the skin, thus creating a trauma that will then induce some healing of the skin and by that removing any kind of wrinkles or any damaged old skin you have on your face. The same thing can actually be applied for your hair follicles on your head. And as I have explained to you guys before, when you create more blood flow to an, to an area, especially where you have your hair and follicles and stuff, you will create pathways for more nutrients to get there, more blood flow and by those means you'll actually be able to at some point usually recover some of your lost ground and at some point maybe even stop your hair loss. So how deep should you go when you are doing microneedling? Now there are some different ways to do this. Uh, usually what we hear most about is the thing called derma rolling and when you are derma rolling guys you're using a, like a roller with some needles on. The problem by using these is that you can't really adjust the length and the depth of the needle, how, how deep it goes into your skin. What I recommend is that you get something like this. This is called a, a derma pen. So how deep are you supposed to go when you're doing this procedure? Now, what a lot of guys will tell you is that you can go between 0.5 to 1.5 millimeters in depth and it will do whatever is fine. And I've seen some cases where they have gone even deeper. The thing you have to know is that in general your hair follicles will tend to stay around 3 millimeters down your scalp. But guys remember this differs from person to person. So what can actually happen is that if you go too deep there's a chance that you will actually hit the hair follicle and damage the bulb. And by damaging the bulb, you will actually ruin your hair. So keep that in mind. This is why I recommend that you only go to 1.5 millimeters. And trust me, it works fine. Remember guys, this is a risk to weight your benefit game. So if you take a lot of risk trying to keep your hair and, and in the end you won't get any benefits, then you actually you are going to lose that game at some point. So remember, if you can make it work with let's say 1.5 millimeters a day, not a day, just if you can make it work with 1.5 millimeters per session, then it's way better than taking let's say 2 millimeters and taking an unnecessary risk regarding your hair and maybe creating permanent damage. Keep that in mind. So let's talk about some of the evidence there is for microneedling. Let's take a look at the study I found for you guys. It's one of the first studies that has ever been made on microneedling. It's from back in 2013 and it's made with 100 men placed in two groups. So what we have here is the first group will receive as 5% solution of minoxidil and the second group will receive the same treatment but on top of that they will also be receiving a 1.5 microneedling session each week, just as I told you guys to do. 
Now let's take a look at some of the results they have in here. As you can see, the results are pretty outstanding. Not only did over 90% of the microneedling group get a ratio of 2 plus or even 3 plus, and this is from a ratio of 0 to 4 plus, so it's on the better side of the half of the equation, but also did none of the non-microneedling patients go above plus one. This means that, to, to sum it up simply, none of the guys who didn't get microneedling get beyond plus one in the ratio or the score, whatever you'll call it, and not a single one of those who received microneedling got down to the score that the non-microneedling session received. Keep that in mind, and this is actually a good way to see how effective this is in conjunction with something just as simple as minoxidil. So if this isn't just enough to get you guys started on microneedling, I don't know what it will take to get you there. For me, it's pretty much proof enough. And there's a lot of studies that you actually can just find yourself out there and take a look at. So how do I personally use microneedling myself? As I told you guys before in here, I use 1.5 millimeters microneedling sessions once a week. This is purely because from all the studies I have read and all the evidence I have received and just piled up, it shows that 1.5 each week is what gives the best risk to ratio benefit in, in whatever I could find. And also, it's pretty simple for me because now each Monday, what I do since I'm, I'm working at home just like everybody else, I actually just bought a, a microneedling device. Um, this, this is a, it's a derma pen. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive. I think it cost me like maybe 70 bucks or something on eBay. And besides that, I bought some, some needles and stuff. And what I actually just do, I just plug the needle in here. I can set the depth on this machine for whatever I would like to. It's always on 1.5. And then usually I just run it through my head a couple of times. It's pretty simple. So that's actually the only thing I do. And then of course, each Monday, I don't use any kind of hair products or minoxidil or IU58841. I still take my finasteride though, if I'm using that at this point, I don't know if I'll be using it, but just keep in mind, you can still use the finasteride as long as it's not topical. And yeah, that's, that's actually pretty much how easy it is. Usually what I do is that I use it for like 10 minutes around the whole scalp area. So not just, not just the affected areas, but also the whole scalp, because if you're thinning at some place, you're gonna be thinning all over the place. And why not induce hair growth in, in, your, in your scalp as, as a whole? There's no point just to fix the damaged areas if you can have more hair growth on other, other areas as well. A good indicator to know when you have done enough is try and do it for 10 minutes with a timer the first time, then just put it away and then just wait because in within the next 30 minutes you should be sore on your scalp if you're sore it's enough because you induce some trauma and you won't you're, you're not going to want to have to overdo it and you don't want to underexpose it of course but if you are feeling sore and if you're feeling like yeah well there's been a couple of needles in your head then you you can be pretty sure it's done well enough for you Okay, so let's talk about the side effect, guys. Since microneedling isn't some sort of medical procedure, there isn't really a bigger way of side effects coming with it. Although some of those you have to keep in mind is the following. The first one is, since you're doing an invasive procedure, there's a pretty big risk of infection at some point. And if you're using any kind of products, please refrain from using them up to 24 hours after you're doing this procedure. Same goes for minoxidil, same goes for IU58841, same goes for any kind of styling products or if you're using argan oil or anything else. Please keep them away from the hair for some time after. The second one is 
since you are using needles on top of your head where you have your hair there can be a pretty good chance that you're going to experience some shedding from doing this this isn't actually a, a shed as you normally would see because what is actually happening is that you are you're actually cutting off the hair with the needles and by that it looks like you're shedding but actually you just cut off some hairs and that's what's falling out in the drain at some point so just take it easy guys it's not like you're losing hair or anything it's just just falling out and it's pretty normal it will grow back out okay so just take it easy with that a good trick i use is that before i'm do, doing any kind of microneedling procedure i actually take a little bit of argan oil and just you know take around in my hair and such it keeps the hair a little more slick so the needle won't cut the hair but instead it will just you know glide off instead and leaving the hair intact and in that way i have experienced a lot less shedding so that's one thing to keep in mind remember guys take a long shower before so you have a clean scalp at this point because whatever you're going to puncture your head with is actually going down into the scalp and you want to keep this part pretty clean okay okay guys this is all i have for you today i hope you have enjoyed this chapter from my book about microneedling and i hope this has explained some of the questions you might have or just shed a little bit of okay guys this is all i have for you today this was one of the chapters from my book if you haven't checked out my book already please do so it contains all the information that i used and have collected over the past couple of years to regain my hair as it is of now compared to what it was before when i was actually going bald for sure also guys if you like this channel if you like whatever content i'm producing please consider to like and subscribe it keeps me going it helps me with the algorithm and such and such and in this way i can keep posting more stuff for you guys so i know i'm not just wasting my time doing nothing that you want to see and yeah <laughs> because i know some of you guys are probably gonna comment on this at some point i know my hair looks pretty greasy and oily at this point today there's no barber shops open and i'm working from home so at this point i will i'm really just relaxing i didn't i didn't style my hair or anything for today it's just greasy as shit so um this is actually what my hair looks like without any styling and just as it is uh, so before any one of you are, guys are gonna say oh man his hair doesn't look as good today no because i didn't do anything with it but this is actually just the complete natural look compared to the video or the picture you can see over here where i was almost completely bald this is actually what whatever happened to my hair after i did some of these things to it so guys like subscribe i'll see you in the next video cheers